Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. I really hope you're enjoying my Pinterest fall palooza that I'm doing this whole week. And if you haven't seen it yet, maybe you should check that out. If you don't get to it this week, then you have all the rest of fall and October to go ahead and do some of these fun Pinterest crafts that I'm teaching tutorials on. Right, so in the comments you left on the Dracula video and on the Instagram post that I kind of just said, I threw it out there on an Instagram picture. I was like, who do you want me to draw next? So let's go ahead and learn how to draw Sally. Of course, the first thing that I do want to do is go ahead and draw a circle. So when I draw this circle, I'm going to kind of keep it in an egg shape almost. All right, after I make this kind of an egg shape, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up right about here. Just like that. But I want to kind of keep this kind of shape going on right like that, okay? Now for Sally, Let's go ahead, let's get rid of this guideline first of all. Alright, Sally of course is famous for her ginormous eyes. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is make an eye guideline right now, like that. So, my eye guideline is going to be that wide, that low. And then of course, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just part down this way for her nose line. Just because we are once again seeing more of this side of her face than this side of her face. So, what I want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and make my first eye. Now the eye is going to take up almost the entirety of her face. So, I'm going to go ahead, and as you can see, I kind of made like a little acorn shape. So I start off with my line, I curve upward, go up, make a curve here, and a curve here. Like that, okay? Next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and make the exact same almost shape where I'm going to go ahead and make the eye this big again and then I'm going to go ahead and curve this inward like that. Alright, so we're seeing more of a like a rounded edge right here as opposed to over here where we see more of a corner and everything. Alright, from that spot what I want to do is I'm just going to lightly bring down this spot right here after that, what I want to do is you're going to make a little line here and a little line here like this, okay? Then I'm going to lightly bring it out just like that. From this corner, I just bring it out, just lightly shade it just like that. Because Sally doesn't really have a nose. Okay, so let's get rid of some guidelines. For her lips, okay, the thing about Sally is she's all lopsided and she looks different, of course, because she's the stitched-in doll, famous Tim Burton. What can I say? Alright, he's a genius. Alright, <clears throat> I'm done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to go ahead and go a little askew. So this is the point of the nose right here, okay? I'm just going to go a little askew from here, and I'm going to make the top of her lip like this, alright? So I make the top of her lip, but then I'm going to come back to over here and I'm going to make the bottom of her lip like that, okay? So yes, it is very offset. It doesn't matter what way you go around it with placing her lips, whether it's almost, this side is more to the right or this side's more to the left. Uh, Sally's lips are always going to be off center and they're not quite matched up. They're not all there. Okay, so I have a, the pair of lips and they are very dark red. So you can go ahead and color that in. I'm going to color in my top, her top lip just a little bit darker just to give it a little contrast. Okay, now the thing with Sally, of course, keep these two lines right here and you're going to go ahead and just bring it up to here. That line all the way over here so we got a little joker feeling going on. And of course I'm going to bring this up over here to this side as well, like that. Awesome. Now. The thing with Sally's stitches is you're going to go in different directions. So one could be longer than the other. Make sure you just go in different directions. And don't go over, too over crazy with the stitches. Just keep it like a good minimum. Like I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. That's good. So I'm just going to do seven lightly over here as well. Maybe make that one longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll just throw a little one right here. Seven, there we go. Nice little stitches in her face. Okay. 
So another thing that we have to do is um, we have to, of course, give her her eyelids. So I'm just going to go up to the top and I'm going to lightly make that for right now. Just go ahead and just chop off a little piece right here. And then I'm going to go over here and chop off a piece like that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and shade that in. All right. For her eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly place one little dot here and one little dot over here. Now they don't have any shine to them, they're just little black dots, just like that, okay? Then after that, let's get to her eyelashes. Her eyelashes are very interesting. Now, from since we made a good hard like eyeliner line like this, her eyelashes are literally V's, like that. So they're like little V's, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and put one, two, three. I'll come over here and get one over here over here just like that she has one little stitch coming down from the top of her head to right to her eye and of course it comes off to the side over here as well and you're just gonna go ahead and like with the lips just give her that little stitching feeling stitching stitchy feeling stitchy feeling abstract I don't know okay now, let's go ahead and give her her neck, and then we'll get to her hair, because her hair is a big part of her body, so we have to go ahead and just give her her neck. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring down, she has a very, very long neck, so I'm going to bring down right from underneath her head, right here. From underneath right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start bringing down this side. Okay, from that, what I want to do is I'm going to come off to the side of the neck right here, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it down right here. Come back up and attach it like that. So I'm going to come off to the side over here. And make this part of her, her sleeve. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and from this part. So I'm going to bring out her chest a little bit. And then come back inward. And then down like this. Okay. Now, after that, I'm going to go ahead and come around the other side and bring out this side of her dress. Curve this inward to her sleeve. Come back and cut off that sleeve right there. So I'm bring this down more like this. All right. And then after that, we can, I can, all right, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring down her arm, which be, I'm going to draw a little bit of a guideline. And here's the top of her arm, like this. So I'm going to draw this top of her arm, and then of course I'm going to go ahead, come back down to here, bring up this side of her arm like that. Now she really doesn't have wrists, she just has hands, which is kind of, it, it looks weird. So what I'm going to do is, it is going to look extremely weird. So I'm going to come to right here, and I'm kind of going to make a little bit of a thumb, and then a little bit of a fist, like that. So I make this one, two, three, four little bumps okay and then just kind of I'm gonna shape up her arm just a little bit more she wants to, she doesn't have much of a wrist feeling or anything but she definitely has one stitch here and we'll come back to that later but what I want to do is I want to go ahead what she's holding so we have her thumb and her fist and I'm going to go ahead and draw that dead flower that she has that she's holding in the movie so I'm just going to kind of make it like that, just like a nice stem, all right? Now the dead flower, I'm just going to go ahead and look actually more of a dead of weed. And I just make this little egg on top, go ahead and color that in. And it has little wispy, that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, so she's holding her little flower. All right, let's go back to her. Let's go shaping up her arm again. 
All right, so go ahead and erase all these guidelines because I have to eventually go away because they'll be confused. Okay, so we have one stitch going right here, okay? And then we have one stitch coming down here and then the fold of her arm. And there's no stitches on the fold of her arm. So we have a stitch here, stitch here, like that. And then we have a stitch here, stitch here, and stitch here. Okay? All right. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna draw through her arm. And go ahead. And then I'm gonna go ahead over here, back over to this arm. This down right here. I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the top of her arm. Which is gonna come to here. And make sure you keep it nice and skinny. Don't give it too much of a shape. Tim Burton's signature thing is these long skinny arms. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring up this hand again right here. And just connect it like that all right and then of course I'm gonna go ahead and once again not much of a wrist over here I'm just gonna kind of open up her hand and they are tiny hands so let's say this is her palm and then we're gonna draw a little itty bitty thumb here a little finger here a little fin middle finger Pinky. And they're not much of hands. They're very odd looking hands, of course. But here we go. Alright, and these, of course, I'm going to get rid of this line, but of course the hand is attached to her body with a stitch. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just define it because that bothers me just a little bit. Alright, now she has a stitch that's coming down her forearm but it's not exactly coming all the way down here like she just ripped herself so we're just gonna go ahead and give her that stitch there and then of course get her this guideline but keep these two lines right here but she has a stitch connecting her forearm and her upper arm right there like that okay now let's get back to Sally's dress Ultimately, at the v-neck of her dress, you're going to go ahead and you're just going to bring down this side right here, and then it's going to curve this way, and then of course it'll curve this way and down. So we have a piece of her dress going this way, we have it, it has an overall middle that's coming from her v-neck, and it comes down this way, and then it separates off, so these are three big main pieces. And then, actually, there's four. My bad. So I'm gonna come right in here, and I'm gonna make that other section of her dress just like that. For this section of her dress, it is squiggly lines like this. For this sleeve right here, this part right here, okay, it's just a yellow striped shirt. It looks like a yellow striped shirt, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and give, just curve this inward. Just give that a little more dimension right there. Okay, now for this part, this is plain, pretty much, this part right here. It is, of course, a color. This is a color as well. Um, this is more of a brown. This is another, another kind of yellow. And for this one right here, it's interesting. You go ahead, you draw a dot here, and draw a dot right here. And of course, going like this, making slanted lines through, you don't go through the actual dots. Just like that, color the circles in. And we have the polka dot weird spot. And then of course, this is a dark green. So I'm just gonna color this in. Now, the thing about this dress that makes Sally, of course Sally, is it's all in stitches as well. Like it's all been stitched together like her body. So you go to each seam of each place and you're going to go ahead and you're going to draw really thick like lines like it's all stitched together. 
All right, and I'm even going to make the seams thicker. Okay, and now for the middle of her dress, the stitches are very close to each other, like this. And then come together all the way to the bottom, like that, but they're very, very close to each other. All right, and of course, I'll go ahead and just stitch the rest of her dress up like that, and make sure these seam lines are nice and thick. And of course, what you can do to just to like add a little bit more dimension to her dress and everything, you can go ahead and just like sh give her like tatters on her sleeves. So if you would go in and you would erase that hard line that, that's there, and you just go ahead and give her like frayed sleeves, like of course, like a scarecrow. She is a scarecrow basically. All right, and then over here, we've got a little bit of stitching going on. Okay. There we go. There's the entirety of Sally's dress. Now, let's come back to her neck. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna separate her neck here. And then right over here, underneath this base of her neck, and then straight down to, like this line is leading into her dress. But ultimately, this is where her heart is, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and you draw one X here, draw a line here, little stitch marks over here, and of course you've got stitch marks going down, but this X is very prominent, okay? And then we're gonna go right here and put some stitches here, and there you go. We have the rest of her stitches of her neck put together. Now, the most important thing about Sally is her hair. So for her hair, what you're gonna do is from this little bit of like where I can see from where we parted our, her face, I'm just gonna bring up this line just a little bit. Now Sally doesn't, it's literally just like another section of her head that's rounded off and it's going to come straight down over here like it's just rounded and then you're gonna come straight down like this. Now to make it a little bit more flurry, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of like flurry spots here. And of course, over here as well. But the thing about Sally is her hair has to stay in like one piece. So you could kind of like separate it like this. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here. Like that. And then just to add, like, another thing about Sally is we see more of a lighter part. So we see, like, this section right here, this section here, and this section here are more of a lighter like red tint to her hair but ultimately it is just one big piece of hair and you can even bring this down and chop this off the side like up here but of course there is a couple lines going this way a couple lines going this way to show the part of her hair just like that actually keep all my original sketches from all my videos in my this book right here I just slide it in and look see all right guys I hope this helped um, make sure you subscribe for another doodle tutorial on Thursday and of course if you haven't already been tuning in I am posting a fun fall Pinterest craft each day um, this week so I hope you really tune into that make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter subscribe as always because of course I will always return with tutorials and everything for you guys I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see y'all tomorrow bye, bye.